Hi, so in this video we're going to show how we set up the, the WordPress manual for clients. Um, it should take less than 30 seconds and in that time you'll see how easy it is to actually customize things to really improve your processes. So let's start by starting the clock and then what we're going to do is we're just going to come down and install the plugin which is already here, let's activate it and then we're going to come in and just make one change here oops that's the wrong one um, to here and we're going to say hi Jackie save it and we're done 39 seconds. Damn. <laughs> so, what's just happened here? Okay, first thing you're probably going to notice is the manual is now sitting at the top of the navigation. Um, we explain how to do this in one of our blog posts, but we think it's really important to group this navigation, these important elements together. And that's why we move this to the top. Second thing you notice is the personalized introduction. Um, we just those little things count and as you can see it just takes two seconds um, from the install because we've done all this through the config file you can actually see that the branding is already set up um, so you know that's that's been done as a standard um, from this one as well you can also see that we have removed the blogging um, section um, 95 percent of our websites that we build actually don't include blogging blogging functionality so we just as a default we just turn that off in the config file and the final thing is that um, our branding uh, on the ebook we put a, a special image on the ebook and that just allows us to uh, you know quickly set up the, the video um, user manuals plugin in you know a matter of seconds the same way each time um, you know we've put in our two custom videos into here which explain the two main functionalities which aren't covered in the video user manuals because they're, they're customized to our builds, but everything else can be, um, you know, is basically done as standard. And this is all done by editing the config.php file.